Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we have a very, very cool beer and since we are two thirds of the way to 666 I thought this was very appropriate and plus the fact this beer wouldn't have lasted all the way until 666 because of the sell by date so I thought this was a cool time to do it. So we are going to go to Black Metal Brewery just because from Edinburgh in Scotland and this beer is called Will o' the Wisp which is a juniper smoked ale so it should be a very very interesting one. I had a similar one to this from I think it was Handbrigeriet from Norway and it was a really nice a Norwegian farmhouse ale but for this special beer review I'm wearing my Akrasa Kauda t-shirt because these guys are a very very special metal band escaped from Baghdad in Iraq eventually settling in America so I thought this was very appropriate to wear for the review of the black metal brewery not quite black metal more thrash metal but still very very cool band and a very cool story behind them but anyway as is usual with my beer reviews then I'll take you through a very brief history of the brewery it will only be a minute or two long but if you do want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward the brewery website and Facebook page are in the video description for you below so do go and check them out if you do want to check it out as well there is also a link down there for my other reviews that I'm sure I will, I will add from the black metal brewery in the very near future this is the very first time I'm trying one of their beers incidentally so anyway, to tell you about the brewery, Black Metal Brewery was founded in Edinburgh in 2012 by Estonian guy Jan Ratzip, although apparently he grew up in Russia and he started this brewery up with one of his friends. But it's quite a funny story of how he actually got into brewing because he said it was a lot of chance events that just kind of came together and he sees it as fate. So apparently Jan had been a home brewer for many years and he was initially studying for, studying for a PhD in molecular biology, although this has now been put on indefinite hold. But apparently he actually went to learn about smithing before finally establishing his own brewery so he likes metal in more ma in more ways than one but um, Jan actually home brewed a mead and he shared this beer with the beekeeper who was supplying him with all the honey to make this mead but the beekeeper said he knew a farmer who had a secret herb garden and then Jan actually decided he could make the brewery there and he saw that this was kind of fate and decided that he was going to dedicate himself to the brewing profession but the brewery initially started its operations on this farm with the secret herb garden outside Edinburgh in Midlothian but they soon moved into the city and they started out using a 100 litre pilot brewery but they soon moved to a new 1000 litre brewery when they moved to their new home and this they actually brew their beers now under contract brew at Top Out Brewing or another very very good brewery in Edinburgh but Jan actually plays the guitar in a band themselves and he compares the three beers that are in their current range as their, e as their first EP and he says that the beers are um, actually made uh, by metal folk for metal folk so he sees that the connection here he says that when you play metal and listen to metal you want to go all out and he wants to do the same with his beer so really quite cool in that regard but he says that he wants the, the brewery to release their first album as he put it uh, later on in the year but these beers the first three beers the EP of the Black Metal Brewery were actually released in 2014 so a very short existence for the brewery so far but I'm sure they will actually produce some very good things and as I say I've actually had a beer like this from Norway before which was a Norwegian farmhouse ale it was called Norwegian Wood I think from Handbrigeriet so I'm actually quite interested to try this one and I'm sure Jan will know that beer himself because he said he wanted to brew beer in quite a metal country but anyway let's get on to the tasting of this beer and um, just another interesting point actually that's come into my mind I saw on an article that these guys have been negotiating to get their beers into the metal festivals like Bloodstock so that you might see that there if you do go to some of these metal festivals in the fairly near future but just to list the other beers that you get from these guys obviously you have this one here which is the Will o' the Wisp a juniper smoked beer you've got Yggdrasil which is a pale ale and that's named after the Nordic tree of mythology uh, cosmology sorry the Asgardian tree of cosmology which is meant to be very kind of wise thing and points to the universe and stuff like that very very cool something I need to read up on more actually but they also have another beer called Blood Revenge which is a rye stout but anyway that's your kind of brief history of the brewery and all their beers and stuff so without further ado let's actually get on to the tasting of this beer itself so I'll just bring the camera up and let you have a little look at the artwork on here but you can see here it tells you produced by Black Metal Brewery at Dryden Road, Bliston Glen, Industrial Estate, Lonehead, Edinburgh and it tells you yeah natural as you'd expect natural sediment best before December 16 so it's a 6% smoked juniper ale and the motto of the beer is behold thy drink and hail thy ale so it should be 
pretty cool. But as you can see, it's got a pretty kind of black metal artwork to it, which is what you would expect going by the name. Personally, with metal, I'm more into folk metal and things, but I can appreciate some black metal, so it should be a really cool beer for us to try here. So, yeah, let's get this guy open and we'll get on with the tasting. The bottle cap has flown away. But yes, so as you can see, a nice little smoky opening there. You can smell the smoke and kind of peaty, slightly meaty aromas coming off of this guy as you bring it out. Just give it a wee bit of an aggressive pour, try and get the head onto it. It's a half litre bottle, so yeah. So as you can see, it's poured very nicely. I'll just bring up the light and let you have a little look at the colour of this one. It's a kind of coppery, um, kind of coppery dark orange amber colour actually. As you can see, there's a finger of a frothy head on it. It is kind of beige actually. You can, It's probably coming up quite white. I decided to do this beer at night just to make it more metal. So you can hopefully see the colours of this one on it. But it's a nice coppery orangey colour with a nice sort of tanny beigey coloured head on it there. It's completely hazy as you can see. If I put my fingers behind the, the glass there, you can't really see it at all. Can't see through it at all. But there's some nice carbonation. A little bit just sticking to the side some teeny teeny bits of sediment just floating around the bottom there but you can see just the smaller bubbles going up towards the bottom of the head so it looks very very nice actually and smells quite nice too without even paying too much attention to it so let's have a wee smell of this guy so as we would expect with it being a smoked juniper ale those are the two kind of most prominent components if you like it's got a nice smoky kind of peaty aroma actually the Scottish kind of peat it has that real smell. If you know what peaty whiskey smells like, then you can really smell that a little bit in here, but it is quite meaty. I should point out as well, I've not mentioned it on the video so far, but smoked beers are really where my love of beer began. My friend in Germany, Daniel, lives in Bamberg, and those were the first beers that I really grew to love, the Schlenker La Rauch beers. So that's, this is quite cool to have a metal brewery that does a smoked beer. But yeah, you can smell the sort of sweet, meaty, smokiness coming out of this guy. A little bit peaty as well but you can smell some brown bread under there. A little bit of cereal I think maybe too. And maybe a little bit of caramel sweetness and there's there is a more estery fruit coming off this which is definitely juniper berries. So it's quite an interesting aroma. It's got all the points you would expect but there's maybe a little bit of earthy hop in there too so there's nothing too unusual about the aroma. As I say the two most prominent components are the kind of smoky, sweet, peaty, slightly meaty aroma out of this guy. And then the kind of fruity juniper esters coming out on top. So without further ado, let's get stuck into this beer. Behold thy drink and hail thy ale. This is the Will o' the Wisp Smoked Juniper Beer from Black Metal Brewery in Edinburgh. So hail Black Metal Brewery and hail Akrasa Cowder. Slanja. That's nicely done actually. It's quite interesting. I just need to let my mouth adjust to it a little bit because it's quite an unusual flavour this but it is very very good. So much like the aroma you're getting all these nice flavours. It's actually got a kind of uh, nice actually slightly burnt feel around the edges of the mouth there. It's, 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 it's very interesting. Yeah, so you just, it's more of a malt forward beer which is exactly what you would expect from a smoked beer. So you've just got this kind of nice sort of brown bready uh, blanket that just blankets the middle of the tongue. There is a teeny bit of cereal spice in there but that's a kind of smoky slightly burnt spice at the same time and that you feel that just before you get right to the edges of the tongue. So you just get this big bready blanket comes in and kind of swamps the palate if you like and then a little bit of smoky roasted character on top. The smoky character in it is actually quite sweet and quite wet initially, but then it dries out and moves to a more kind of darky, darker, slightly ashy kind of flavour on this one. It's really nicely done. Another really good smoke beer actually, so I'm quite glad I got to try this one. But yeah, there is perhaps a nice little bit of cereal spice in there, but there's a definite kind of slightly caramel sweetness, I think. Just, it's, it's very kind of mild in comparison to the smoke, but I think there is an underlying 
caramel sweetness in this beer and you'll feel that right in the middle of the tongue particularly when the beer still has its kind of wet mouthfeel in the middle of the palate there but as I say a big kind of brown bready blanket over the tongue uh, the kind of smoky character slightly ashy actually builds up around the edges of the tongue um, not quite right on the edge just a little bit inside of that but you're getting a hoppy character around the edge so it's got I think it's got quite a grassy hop flavor just around the edge but it's quite mild not aromatic or floral not kind of like that at all just a nice kind of mildly sweet grassy hop and then that's where you're getting the kind of slightly juniper fruits out so it's quite an interesting little quirk in terms of hop character that this beer does have But yeah, it's really nicely done actually. I have to admit, this this is one of the, the nicely done, a really nicely done smoked beer. I love smoked beer, so it's really cool to try this one for you. But yeah, there's a definite sweet caramel just lying down the middle of the tongue there. And around the edges of the palate where you expect to find these kind of nice hoppy elements to it, you do have this kind of slightly grassy and little, this kind of little, um, juniper flavour that just kind of goes in with the brewery, in with the uh, the beers very very well and the flavours are really nicely done, they, they just blend together so well, the aftertaste really is a kind of slightly smoked character that just gives you a bit of a dry bitter edge to it but it's got all the components you expect the smokiness in it isn't actually that meaty in comparison to what you would think from the aroma, I'd say it's more of a kind of darker roasty, slightly ashy smokiness so it's very very well done but in terms of the mouthfeel of this beer I would say definitely mid-bodied. It actually does, what's cool about it I think is that it does have a, quite a German mouthfeel to it. It does feel very smooth, almost like a cask ale. A bit, of, a bit wetter than some of the German ones. The, it is a little bit thinner than that I would say, but it's nice kind of mid-bodied which is what you would expect from the sort of German style of beer. But it's got a nice balance as I say between all the different flavours. The kind of, there's a slightly earthy hop character to it as well that just builds at the very back of the palate there and that gives you a good balance between the sort of grassy and juniper flavours on the edge of the tongue and then the sort of nice cereally bread slightly smoky flavour, that just kind of gives you a good transition there. But as I say, a nice mid-bodied beer, quite a smooth carbonation on this one and the smokiness is very well done and the transition, but it's got a nice malty sweetness there. There's an underlying kind of caramel sweetness that gives you a nice little quirk to this beer. And the sort of juniper esters, it's got a little bit of hoppy dryness just around the edge of the tongue too, but the main dry character in this beer really is coming from the smokiness and right at the back corners of the tongue. So it's very nicely done. So overall this is a really really nice beer actually, it's a nice kind of quirky thing with the uh, the juniper berries in it, but what I would say is if you have tried um, the Hand Brigeriate um, Norwegian wood beer then this is another one that's kind of along those lines and it is very very nice so I would recommend that you check out this one hopefully in the future I can review a few more of the black metal beers for you they're distributing now throughout Scotland and also in northern England I'm not sure if they've reached the south of England yet but they're definitely on the basis of this beer they're definitely worth checking out and I will review Yggdrasil the Paleo and also the the uh, what was it called blood revenge which is the rye stout so i'll review those for you in the future because this is really cool but anyway i hope you've enjoyed my 444th beer review the two thirds of the way to the number of the beast and thought it was quite a cool way to add that into this but anyway and um, this has been another really nice beer review another example of a good scottish brewery actually there's lots of them popping up just now so do uh, don't be afraid to check them out hopefully they'll start to appear for some of you watching in canada and australia and things like that at some point soon but i'm sure you'll see this beer because it is pretty awesome so if you enjoy your smoked beers check this one out and check out the links to the website as well but anyway um, as I say I hope you've enjoyed this beer review please like subscribe share all the usual YouTube stuff if you've tried the beer comment below and let me know your thoughts on it and I will catch you soon with my next beer review so once again hail Black Metal Brewery and hail, hail across a Hakoda cheers <laughs>